Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rick Williams from Stellar Negotiating Secrets, and today we're going to talk about another dynamic subject. We're going to be discussing how that you can do deals on Zillow, how that you can be able to purchase homes on Zillow, how that you can um, sell your house, your house or your multi-units on Zillow, and also how that you can be able to get cash investors um, who you can deal uh, do business with on a continuous, perpetual basis on Zillow. All right. Okay. So remember what we said about negotiating. Negotiating is all about creating desire and tension. And the way that you can create create that when you're calling to buy places from people on Zillow is you simply ask questions. People will answer your questions, okay? If you don't believe it, just go into an inter into interrogation room and you will find people all over America today who are telling on themselves simply because somebody asked them a question. They say, listen, Bob, we know that last night you were not at home where you said, we've checked out your alibi and it just doesn't check out, Bob. Now listen, Susan told us, okay, that it was not your idea to be in the car, all right? That the culprit was the guy who was actually driving. You thought you were on your way to Mickey D's last night. That's what you went along with innocently. And then we found out that when the guy got there, he ended up going inside of First National Bank. You didn't intend to stop by First National Bank last night, did you, Bob? Okay, what you really intended to do was simply to go on a joyride to Mickey D's. You had no idea that he was going to go in with a gun up in the place and shoot the joint up and run off with $100,000. You never thought you'd be part of that fiasco. But you know what, Bob? Susan told us everything. So listen, we just want to ask you a question. Do you have something that you need to get off of your mind? I did. <laughs> I did. I was there. I was there. <laughs> and he'll tell him himself and get 45 years where he could have just been quiet. Okay. So this happens to people all the time because if you ask, if you ask questions, people have a tendency to answer your questions. So if you want to be a master negotiator and you're going to be buying places from people, then you know, need to know what questions to ask them and you need to know uh, what succession to ask the questions in because you're a pro, baby. All right. You're not playing games. OK, you came here to win. You're not just having fruitless phone conversations with people. All right. So let's start out. What's the very first question you ask a person when you call them up? Ching, 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 ching. Hello. This is Rick Williams uh, from Stellar Homes, and I'm calling about your place that you're selling at 3030 Great Price Lane. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I want to know, first of all, are you a homeowner? Are you the one that's on the title? Now, why would I ask a person that? Because I told you that the very first thing that you need to do is take on the alpha position when you're negotiating with people. Enough of this timidity. All right. You'll never get anywhere being timid. You'll never get anywhere or get any kind of massive deals done if you're afraid to ask a person a few probing questions. OK. All right. Because when you ask these questions, people tell you what's going on and you need to know what's going on so that you can make an intelligent offer. All right. So first of all, are you the one that's on the title? You'd be shocked at the amount of people who will have an hour long conversation with you and they couldn't sell a house if they wanted to. They're not even there. Power is another one of the P's of negotiating. OK. Posture power, position. All right. So you have to make sure that you maintain the alpha position by asking these questions. These questions help you to switch positions with the person that's selling the house. All right. So are you the one that's on the house? Yes, sir. Mr. Rick, I am the one that's on the house. Wonderful. All right. Uh, and uh, who is your mortgage holder? My mortgage holder. Yes. Who is your mortgage holder? If they don't want to answer the questions, this is not a prospect. Okay. All right. You need to know who their mortgage holder is because you just want to know if they have a mortgage. That's the question. That's the reason for the question. All right. So they will tell you because you're asking questions and they will they'll let you know it is Chase. Chase is the one that's the mortgage holder. OK. So what is the balance on your place right now? The balance on my place. What an intrusive question. <laughs> it's $69,000. They'll tell you, okay? If they don't want to tell you this, then you can let them know that this is really public knowledge. I'm just trying to expedite the issue so I can make you a, an offer. What you're really trying to find out is what's the story behind them selling this house because people will tell you your story if you simply inquire. All right? So my balance is 69000 Okay, what can you tell me about your place um, that I don't know, that I don't see here on Zillow? Um, what's really going on with your place? Now, people will really, really go in right now because they're trying to sell you. So they'll tell you everything that they about their place. Oh, it's got a three, it's three bedrooms and two baths. And um, it's got a delightful sun deck. And when you just sit out on the back porch and just look over the river when it glimmers in the morning, it is a thing of beauty. We just re recently up upgraded the um, garage. We had just recently upgraded the roof. We, I put in a, a furnace 10 years ago, and it's still beautiful, just like it was 10 years ago when I first put it in. Of course, it's old and, but, and raggedy. But they're going to tell you everything that they can to 
to uh, make that place look good to you. All right, so when they get done with all of that, your next question is, is, is there anything that I need to know? What kind of repairs do you have? All right, is there anything I need to know about your place that it just isn't written right here? And then they'll tell you uh, if it's something that needs to be, you know, happen. Well, my sister did break the back porch yesterday. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to ask me that, <laughs> but my sister did break the back porch yesterday. And yes, um, it does need some work on this concrete over here. And yes, and yes, and yes. So now you can find out. Now, what you're creating is, again, is desire. Because when you ask a person about their place, they light up like a Christmas tree. So all this, and all this does is give you a good social interaction with the person. Because there's a few things down the road that you might be able to do with this person that might not have, even have anything to do with their house. Okay? So you find out from them if, if it's anything that needs to be fixed. And then you go into the series of questions about the home itself and about um, this interaction with you trying to actually purchase it. Okay? If, in fact, you might purchase it. Now, talk to everybody on Zillow that's selling their own house. All right? And the reason I'm telling you to do this is because two things are going to take place. Either you're going to buy this house or you'll find out if this person has more places to sell. I, I take that back. Not just two things. You'll find out a myriad of things. You might buy this place. You might find out if they have more places that they want to sell. Or you might find out if this is what they really do and that they want to buy some more houses from you. Okay? All right? Because if you take my training, you'll have an extensive, I have at least um, what, 2,000 houses around the country that I'm selling right now, and, we, and and you'd have to go into my training to learn how to be able to get all of that. But the bottom line is that if you want to sell places and you want to sell them clear across the world, you need buyers, okay? And one easy way to get buyers is just to get the person that's selling that house to buy some more from you, okay? And one person might buy 10 houses from you before the, um, before the year is over with if you have some extensive inventory. All right, so that's, that's a twofold meaning for having this conversation, all right? We want to find out if they want us, if we can really buy their place, and we want to find out if they want to buy others. So let's get through trying to buy their place first. All right, so the first question that you ask is, so how much are you looking to get for your place? All right? Uh, it's on Zillow, ain't it? Didn't you just read it? No. <laughs> Somebody might be a smart aleck like that. <laughs> but typically, they'll answer your question, okay? So uh, I was just I was just trying to get about, um, you know, 100000 for it. Okay, so you wanted 100000 for your place. All right, is that price flexible? Uh, yeah, is it flexible? You mean flexible like, um, you know, like flexible like touch your toes flexible or flexible like you're doing a Chinese split? What kind of flexible are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, so they'll answer your question. They'll let you know if it's flexible. All right. So you say, okay, so 100000 so that is flexible. So if I can offer you cash and we can close really quickly, um, what's the best you could do? And cash? Did you say cash? Benjamin's cash? Yes, Benjamin's cash. If I can offer you cash and we can close quickly, what's the best you can do? Well, let's see. Uh, I, you know, I probably can do, I probably can do, if you're, you're talking about cash now, we can close, close real quick. I probably can do 90000 Okay. Okay, can you do any better than that? All right. Most people can't take, listen to me good, five or six questions back, back, back to back will make you a multimillionaire, a multimillionaire, and make your kids, kids rich too in the society that we live in because most people sweat up under pressure. All right, I, I remember one time I was asking a guy this stuff. He said, man, are you a lawyer? <laughs> And I was just asking them a, seri a series of questions. I asked the same questions to everybody. Okay? All right? So don't start making up your own stuff. Ask them the questions I'm telling you to ask them. And that's how you'll be, um, you be able to close deals at a mammoth rate. Okay? All right. So here we go. So um, if I was able to, to pay you cash and we can close really good, um, uh, what's the best you can do? Uh, I don't know. I, cash and we can close really quick. Maybe about... <laughs> Maybe about, I'd say about 80000 <laughs> All right, you, you can't do any better. Can you do any better than that? All right, so keep the pressure on. And you're keeping the pressure on with just questions that are just coming like real natural, just right during the process, okay? So the first question again was what? Uh huh. Uh, the first question was, yes, so uh, what are you looking to sell a property for? The second question was, was, is that price flexible? The third question is, is can you do any better than that? All right? And then they say, um, um, it, um, the third question was, I'm sorry, was if I was able to pay you cash and we can close really quickly, um, what's the best you can do? And then after they say what the best they can do is, you say, can you do any better than that? So the best I can do is, I, if you pay cash, I can do about 80000 you know. Well, what, and, you know, uh, if, if, uh, can you do any better than that? 
Okay, okay, okay. What I really want is $75,000. Because, because look, look, I got this child support to pay. All right? And if I don't pay this child support, I'm going to be up a creek without a paddle. If you can give me $75,000, you take care of all my problems, and I'll be in like Flint, and me and you, we ain't going to have to discuss nothing else. All, that's all. $75,000. That's the best I can do. Okay? All right. So people will get tell you this story, which is what you're after. All right? So now. They, they've gone from 100000 to $75,000 just, just from a series of questions. It happens every day. I do it every day. Okay? I'm telling you what happens. I'm telling you what works. Okay? So they'll come down and tell you what their real price is because it's almost never what they have on the, on the sheet there. They just put a price up. And um, so then I, I asked them this question. I said, if you don't mind me, you know, I said 75000 Okay? So let me ask you this. If you um, don't sell your property, what do you intend to do? Well, if I can't sell it, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. probably going to jump out a window because I need to get rid of this place right now. I got two mortgages right now I'm paying. I don't need this house. It ain't nothing but a burden on me. I, I inherited from my sister. And, um, and, and, and um, I, you know, it ain't been nothing but trouble and everything. I'm tired of fixing up places and all that. I ain't in the real estate business. So then you'll find out what's really going on with the person, okay? <laughs> you'll find out. They, and they, or they may say, well, you know. Um, this place is um, just one of a myriad of places that I have, you know, and if I if I can't sell it, I'm simply going to rent it out. OK, and then they open up the door for you to find out the fact that they actually do this for a living. OK, now. So let's say that you come to the conclusion that seventy five thousand dollars is good and you simply buy the house. OK, wonderful. Oh, or let's come to the conclusion that their price is too high. And you can't, um, and, and, and this is not a good deal for you. All right. The thing about negotiating is that you don't have to do a deal with everybody. Okay. Every single situation is just not good for you. All right. So when that's the case, you got to be willing to walk away. And when you're willing to walk away, people um, have a tendency to chase you. Okay. So, or this is just a relationship that you can be establishing with this person so that you can continue at a later date with uh, another house that they have, or perhaps they want to buy one of yours. Okay, so let me give you a real case scenario with a gentleman um, who, who, did business, who does business with me on a regular basis named Jason. Okay, I had this conversation with Jason. I said, Jason, I said, listen, the house that you're selling right now, I said, that's, I said you really just want the market value for it because you fixed it up, and right now you just want to sell it for retail value. Is that right? He said, yeah, that's true, Rick. I said, okay, great. I said, I appreciate that. I said, is this what you do for a living? He said, yes, I do. He said, I buy homes and fix them up all the time. I said, awesome, because, you know, I happen to have a whole lot of inventory. He said, you do? I said, yes, I do. I said, you know, this is what I do. You know, so I got several places that I, that I have for sale below market value now, and chances are you can make money off of them if you want to fix those up. So he said, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you put me on your buyer's list? I said, sure. So I sent him out a few properties, and before the week was over, before that week was over, he had already come and looked at about six, seven properties and was putting a contract on one before the weekend. So listen to me good. If you want to buy property from people on Zillow and they and that deal doesn't work out, you can sell them all of your property. All right. Because I buy and sell property clear across the country every week. Never spend a dollar on any of my property. OK. All I ever do is just um, buy the properties from my systems that I get them through and then I sell them to people. But you have to know how to talk to people when you get a person's attention. OK, because um, you can't avoid that. Eventually, you're going to have to have a phone conversation with folks face to face and you're going to have to know how to talk. You're going to have to know how to position yourself, how to posture yourself and how to make sure that you're talking to the person with the power. All right. OK, so now um, you're selling your place on Zillow. So now you've got to use the same type of techniques when you're selling your place to make sure that you get your desired price as you were using when you were trying to buy a, buy a place to get your desired price. Okay? All right. So let's go over what happens when a person calls you. Now, I've got a lot of property. And, um, and when I post them on Zillow, people call me all the time. And people are always trying to use techniques to be able to get my property at their price. But how are you going to use a technique on the technician? All right? <laughs> So I want you to be prepared and armed to sell your places for what they're worth. Now, first of all, you need to be able to get places that have uh, where whatever your price is, is that uh, is a, a price that people really, really, really um, are going to agree to. Um, eventually, you're going to get somebody that's going to agree to that price because it's priced right in the first place. OK, so you need the, you need good deals. All right. So that's a whole nother session about you getting good deals. We talked a little bit about that in my LinkedIn session in terms of how you can get people to bring their deals to you. But when you've got a good deal, don't budge from your price. All right. Don't break down simply because people start trying to um, show you how your place is worth less than what it is that you're selling it for. All right. So for for uh, example, this week, I have a place in Ohio. I'm selling for a meager thirty nine thousand nine hundred dollars. All right. 
great price. Very great price. In fact, if you want the address, it's what, 7760 Birchman. <laughs> Probably be gone by the time you listen to my video. But anyway, uh, great price. You can fix the house, make money off of it, rent it out, or whatever the case may be. So I know my price is good. So I have people that call me clear from around the world. You know, one guy called me a little while ago and he said, hey, Derek. And he said, and, and I'd like to check into your place. You know, he said, I said, okay, that's good. He said, we buy lots of places. And um, I think he was from Israel. You know, love his voice. I love people. I love listening to people from other parts of the world because it's so boring listening to people that just talk, look like you and sound exactly like you all day, every day. You know, you need to stretch out and talk to some people around the world, which is what I do every day. So it's so much fun. So the guy said, hey, Rick, you know, I me like to take your place. And, and after some careful evaluation, we see that your place is... Um, um, we, we see that we have to fix this and we have to fix that. And after we fix this and after we fix that, I can only come up with number of 36,000 for your place. So I said, okay. I said, well, I appreciate that. I'll take your place that into consideration. However, um, this place is 39 and it'll probably be gone in the next couple of days while you're pondering that extra $3,000 or $4,000. So you can, you consider, um, that and let me put it to you this way. Okay. Um, for a meager few more thousand dollars, you will probably be walking away from a deal that you'll make some really good money off of. And then, you know, a couple of days from now, you'll be saying to yourself, wow, I missed out on such a good deal. I understand that human nature is you're a negotiator, that you're a business person. Okay. I respect that. Okay. But the fact of the matter is that the house is already priced right. So it's nothing to negotiate for. Okay. I could have said, you know, uh, give me 50,000 and let you talk me down to 39,000. But in this case, it's, it's really not necessary because I priced my places so good until the phone rings off the hook and it'll be sold in a matter of days. What I don't want you to be doing later is I don't want you to be sulking thinking about the fact that you could have got this place at a decent price and the money that you're going to be missing out on because you could have made it because you're so used to getting a deal. I understand it's used to getting a deal. So it's just not in your nature just to say exactly, pay exactly what the person has online. But in this case, um, that's what you're going to have to do. OK, so you need to understand. So don't leave. Don't don't you know, don't go someplace later and be thinking about the fact that you missed out. All right. OK, now, if that's just not a price that you can afford, a price that you're willing to pay, then I certainly understand that. But if this is really just the way you normally do business and you just can't get what you want, then you just have to bend this time. OK, and pay what the uh, pay what the um, price is that's on Zillow here because it's worth it. I already know you're worth it. I already know it's worth it, and you really know that it's worth it too. So you just consider that while you consider what's going on. In the meantime, I will sell my house for thirty nine nine, every single penny of it, and somebody's going to be ext extremely happy, and they're going to make good money and good profit in the end. Okay, that somebody could be you, or perhaps it's going to be have to be the next uh, caller. Okay, all right. So thank you so much for your time. I really got to go. I heard everything that you said. Let's stay in touch for future references, and I'd be glad to see if it's something else that you qualify for. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Have a great day. OK. <laughs> All right. Now, I never change my posture. All right. When people are talking to me. All right. The problem with people is, is that you step on a foot and their legs open up. That's the problem with people. All right. They give in way too easy. All right. But you got me twisted like cornrows if you think I'm going to give in to you just because you asked. All right. On the other hand, people will give in to you all the time because you ask, because that's how negotiating goes. So the person is trying to do the same techniques on you that I'm teaching you today. So learn these techniques, learn those questions, those multimillion dollar questions. When you're asking people about their place, it can be for a little house or it can be for a villa or it can be for an island. It can be for hotels or whatever the case may be. It's just a few more zeros on top of something. OK. All right. So don't be intimidated by people and their little money. All right. Whatever you got is just little because it's little in God's eyes. So you remember that you keep your vision big and make sure that when you're talking to people that you um, that you get your desired price or you move on to the next deal. And when people are talking to you, you make sure that they give you your desired price or you have them to move on to the next deal. All right. So that's how you do business on Zillow. I do it to the count of, um, of uh, multi-million dollar deals, and you can do the same thing. All right. So God bless you. You have a wonderful day today. It's been a plum, please, and pleasure, as well as a privilege. If you have any questions, just email me at rick.stellaholmes at gmail.com. And because you're part of this training, I'll be glad to answer your questions, too. Okay. Have a great day, a great day, a great day. I hope to see you at the top. And um, don't take no prisoners. Okay. Talk to you soon.